game number three. Progress Village, 4th of July, 2024. New contestants, new uh, part of the world. I moved my camera over. Apparently, I didn't use the level because uh, either that or maybe uh, the world's, uh, the, the flat earth has tilted on its side a little bit. We all know the earth's flat. There has to be an end to it. It's not globe like most morons think. Maybe proven by this video because of that, that angle that we have here today. Uh, sorry about that. I'll probably get dizzy watching this, but I think it's the only game that was on the left side. Uh, contestants on this game are as follows. That's uh, me about to serve, Brian Ridge. That's Kirk Garris on the far side. I don't know Chris's last name, so apologize. Chris on the right there with the shot um, is Chris. And then my partner walking towards the camera is Dwayne Question. All our four are, are uh, solid players. Uh, we're going to be the favorites there, I hate to tell you. I think uh, duper-wise, Dwayne and I were the two highest, so hopefully we take care of business today on this court. I think we do, but I think we make the game lost longer than it probably should have. Kirk is... I asked him for help. He said it was in. Uh, he's an honest young man, so it probably was. Good shot, Kirk. Our service uh, is done, and now it's their turn to try to earn points. Okay, I just tried to do much. By the way, not smart. Uh, Chris is probably the quickest youth out there. Uh, I'm trying to hit a sharp cut that he can't get to. So I'm not only trying to hit it short, I'm also trying to hit it way wide. So it's difficult to get to. He would have got to it. And my um, outcome of that shot was um, missing wide. So I took a risky shot for really no purpose. I don't like, I don't like that. Chris has good aggressive sh shots. He's been playing, I've talked to him today, he's been playing for about one year. He is going to be a force to reckon with. He's got really good form. He's athletic. He's strong. Uh, he can jump. I tried to freaking lob over him earlier today. He leapt out of the sky and slammed it back at me. I didn't appreciate that. If you want to play pickleball like me, what you want to do is learn how to do is it 22 feet out of bounds. That takes a lot of skill, folks. I hit that ball really hard and really far. If the game was baseball or cricket, I'd be doing great. Unfortunately, today we're playing pickleball. Dwayne's form was good. Just didn't quite lift it as much as he needed to. He did put a little spin on it. I don't know that he needs to put spin on it. Kirk decides to hit the ball like I did. Further than necessary. Further than optimal. Um, wasn't sure it was called out. In fact, it was called out. And I'm pretty sure it was out. So the service goes over to Chris. And I hit it out. So, no bueno. Not the most impressive pickleball those last couple points. Let's see if we improve. Let's let's focus. Let's get all on this game. Let's make it happen. Dwayne, it's a nice forehand return. I think my dink is fine there. I think I should let that bounce a little better. I like my form there. Very simple, right? The body's quiet. Not a lot going on. I like I like the form there on both sides. Oh, I like that shot by Dwayne. Well handled by Kirk, though. Oh! Just out. I remember the play. Chris was disappointed. He went for a little extra something. Maybe thought it was in. Pretty sure it was out. But uh, he didn't argue. I think he was really disappointed that he had missed a shot that he saw he was going to pull off. Dwayne likes to drive. Let's drive it a bunch of times. Look at the power. As if infused by, I don't know, Thor. The hammer comes across. Uh, Dwayne did probably most of the work. Decent pop-up. I was in the Transition area, but plenty of balls, plenty of high to drive and put away, and that's what we did. Speaking of putting away, Dwayne comes across. Uh, some people would say, that's my ball. You know, I could have hit that. It was on my side of the court. Dear Lord, Dwayne, come across and hit that hard every time. If I'm on the left side of the court, even though I don't have the shot that Dwayne has, I should come across and smash that ball. That ball is saying, please come hit me. I need to be hit. Uh, and that's exactly what Dwayne did. And most, in, uh, with great... Uh, Outcome. I suddenly forget what language I'm speaking. It's a good third shot drop by yours truly. We have earned our way to the net. Uh, I like it. So I try to do this recently, and I'm learning a little bit better how to do it. If you've got a righty on that side, one, you've got your right hand, you can try to uh, lob. But now, instead of just a lob kind of anywhere or over the person, try to go over their left shoulder. 
So I'm lobbing it there. If they're a right-hander, if it comes here, I'm now got to go backwards and do something weird with it or turn around and run all the way to the baseline, let it bounce and hit it. Either way, I'm in a pretty good place, right? I'm making them go, them go backwards. They're hitting a flailing shot or they're all the way back and I'm at the net. Now I've earned the net and forced them to go back. So that's a shot Dwayne just did brilliantly. Even if they hit it, it's their backhand and they're uh, a little challenged. Uh, so a lot talking about one shot, but I want to work on that shot more. There's the other lob that we're trying to do, which is across from across the, to the back corner. And you want to do that because it's a little bit longer, so you've got more room for air. So instead of lobbing directly over someone, kind of between them into a back corner, I think an isosceles triangle <clears throat> is longest on one edge, right? So that's what we're doing is we're not doing that. I don't know why I bring up triangles. Hey, we're watching Pickleball. That's why we're here. Chris, with a nice, really nice uh, serve. I got it back okay. And then a fortuitous net court. While I was rambling on about lobs, I think I had a fortuitous net court. So it's been reciprocated. Ying and Yang are all even with the world. Kismet has returned. <clears throat> I've been missing that shot a little bit more than I'd like to. I just need to hit a soft punch down right at their feet. Uh, why bring deep into play? If I hit that deeper, right, it's higher for them to hit. I need to hit that down. Don't have to hit that hard. Look at that great dig by Dwayne. I got the glory with the final shot there to uh, Chris's feet, but Dwayne really earned it with that dig. That dig uh, would have got past most players. Kirk with a nice shot. That's a bit of a pop-up, should be punished. He punishes wide. This side, that side, Chris almost survives uh, this disadvantage of uh, those high shots with a lob, but it just goes a little wide. I like that deep return. It doesn't have to be hard, doesn't have to be low, doesn't have to be anything. That ball was a little bit loopy, right? But as long as it's deep, I've got to let it bounce. I've just served. Um, it gives you plenty of time to get to the net. Now I'm deep. Even if it's high, I've got a long drive. You've got plenty of time with that. If we got a third shot drop, we've got, you know, 40 feet uh, to carry a, and then a net to make a good shot. Rambling, but the net net is, Chris had a good return. He's got a good serve. It's gonna be, he, that kid's going to be a problem. He says he played a lot of um, ping pong. If you're going to play this sport, man, your background in ping pong or tennis are certainly the two best analogous sports to play. Look at that. That's not a ping pong trolley. That's a tennis shot. That kid is telling me fins. Uh, ping pong guys do a lot of spin, a lot of wrist stuff, right? So you see that a little bit more. Tennis people have long, fluid strokes. So their baseline is often their strength. I think Chris has a great baseline swing. Uh, I bet he also has a good, uh, uh, good play at the... Uh, kitchen, which is more of a ping pong. So the game is played much like a tennis player when you're at the baseline, much like a ping pong player when you're at the kitchen line. Kitchen line, not officially what it's called. It's called the non-volley zone. Not sure why he called the kitchen. Not sure why he called pickleball. Not sure why his name Brian. Not sure of a lot of things. Are you watching? Are you learning? Are you having fun today? Go do that. I've offered you millions of dollars or something, maybe a free trip, if you can name the two artists that made the paintings behind me. I'm featuring Reebok and Nike, if you're a Nike executive or Reebok executive. Send me some gear. Man, I got like 17 views on this channel. Just printing money for uh, my friends, wherever the hell you are. I'm certain that uh, Portland is the headquarters for Nike. Reebok... I should know. Is that out there as well? Or is that Adidas? No, Adidas is German. I, I, think, I think Reebok is out there as well, but the more I say that, the more I question. While I rambled on, you've watched a pickle goal game. It's the third game of Progress Village. Dwayne and Brian were victorious. They defeated Kirk and Chris 11-6. to Man, that was good times. Let's do it again.